Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a few days since I have uploaded my last video, but today I have another attack I want to show you guys how to do. It is at the Town Hall Mine, and it's going to be the most uh, basic, probably the uh, one of the most strongest attacks you can do at Town Hall Mine. It is the Zap Dragloon strategy. So this strategy is very simple. It's 12 balloons and 8 dragons. For the spells, we're going to keep it super simple, and we're going to use 8 lightning and a free spell for the CC. It will be Electro Dragon and another Freeze spell. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be using the standard equipment, the Barbarian Puppet and the Rage Vial. And for the Queen, same thing, the Arch Puppet and the Invisibility Vial. Now, I am going to actually be using the Troop Boost and the um, or the Power Potion and the Hero Potion, rather, because my <laughs> account is not fully maxed. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's multiple variations you can do uh, with this army. Like, you could, for example, switch out... Uh, instead of 8 lining, you can do 6 lining and 2 quake, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to keep it very, very simple. I'm going to show you guys how to do this attack, and uh, just basically walking you through how to attack at 10 online with this strat. So, before we get into the attack, though, make sure you guys go into the shop here before you guys buy any of these packs here. Some ores, and some builder packs, and, you know, it looks like a power level pack. Go to the top right, type in T-E-R-M-Y, code TERMY, before you guys buy anything in the shop. It is much appreciated. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the attack here. Let's see if we can find a tunnel, a tunnel line base to attack. Almost a tunnel 10. Now, the main thing with the strategy, right, is you want to zap out an air defense or two air defenses and then push from the side that does not have, uh, or that has the other two air defenses. So, in, the, in this example, right, we have the four air defenses here. Now, you often encounter a lot of bases like this, especially if you're lower, uh, lower in trophies. So, we're looking at the base, right? You see the air defenses are three two here one here one outside so we can actually snipe this with our heroes so we can probably lining out i want to say this now a trick is to place not just directly on the air defense in the co in like a spot right here so you can lining out multiple buildings so one two three four and maybe one two three four got the archer tower and the air defense down at the same time we could put the king here to take this down and we can even put our queen here if we want to let's just put it here for the purpose of here now there is going to maybe be a uh, builder hunt in the corner you have to be mindful of that but it's okay i think so now we want to choose where we want to attack now luckily these ground bows are actually set to ground here we can actually king ability now and then where do we want to attack from here the queen can actually take this out so we can actually probably uh just drag it into the queen over here place our dragons here Ooh, we didn't put the balloons down first now you also want to put the balloons down a couple balloons down first and then the dragons but in this case we'll just keep it super simple for the first attack put the dragons down and balloons now after this your main focus is just putting down the free spells if there was more air defenses or if there is cc you can freeze them with your free spells now in this case i can pretty much just freeze here maybe on this wizard tower but yeah this base is very poorly designed so it's going to be pretty easy to restart we don't even have to use this uh, clan castle look dragon i'll just use it here just in case but this base is probably going to be pretty crushed here maybe we can eh, should we just freeze this probably not we could probably just save it for the attack here no let's just use it on the sweeper yeah pretty simple attack now after this we'll see if we can find a base that is actually more decent than this because this is a fairly new town of weight. The guy doesn't even have his expos uh, or his heroes for that matter inside of the defenses. But uh, yeah, you often encounter a lot of these kind of bases, so they look great at first, but all you have to do is just tap out two air defenses and then go from the side that is the weakest. This side here, I attacked from the queen and I was able to just easily three star the base here. Pretty much just waiting for these builder hats to get take it down. I was thinking about placing a dragon on each but that would have complicated the attack so let's just go ahead and uh, let these troops do their thing and then we'll get right into the attack. Now the reason why I also chose the uh, the queen here too is because the queen will often take all your balloons and dragons from afar so you know just easy snipe here but let's say the queen was inside the base here I would have pushed this side here and taken out the queen here. You also have to be wary of clan castle troops luckily there was no clan castle troops and we knew this because when I placed my king and queen here Take out this air defense, there was no CC troops here, but if there was, then we could just take it out with a dragon uh, or a free spell. So, let's go ahead and reinforce our CC here with the raid medals. Make sure our army is the same. We train another army here as well. Now, I've actually been using this army in war attacks as well, and uh, and getting some triples, uh, as you can see here, in a lot of these replays. Some of these are not available. But yeah, this is honestly my go to strategy for Tunnel 9, so let's see if we can find a better. Uh, more maxed up tunnel line to use this attack on. 
this base uh, would be pretty easy. Like, we could literally zap out this and this, and then just push this side. See how the queen and the air defense is here? We could probably like, push this with our king, and then, you know, zap this out, and then, you know, use the rest of our dragons here, and just wipe through the base. But let's see if we can find a little bit better what time online this base. Eh, it's more of a newer time online. Same thing. It's more time I'll wait. Let's see if we can find a more stronger one. Mm, same thing. Newer time online, huh? I don't know where Town Hall Mines are. You guys are probably going to encounter a lot of new Town Hall Mines here. I got a Droop Boost. Okay. Uh, one Hair Defense is down here, but this is actually a uh, decent base. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of new Town Hall Mines down here. Town Hall 11. Mm. I want to see if I can find a better base. Okay, this is actually not that bad, okay? Some Town Online defenses. It looks like he has the Expos down still, though. Like, there's just so many bases like this. Hmm. Okay, this is perfect, actually. This is a Talon line. Decent layout. Expos are inside. Queen and King are in somewhat decent position. So now we're looking at the base, right? Now, the number one thing, too, we're going to look at where we're actually attacking a good base, a decent base, is a sweeper location. Now, in this case, the sweepers are in terrible positions, in my opinion. So we're actually going to probably lining out these right here and then push this bottom side here. So one, two, three... Four, and then we can actually be lining out this expo and air defense at the same time. Yes, we can. Okay, now we're gonna try to take out this queen with our king and queen, and then we're going to place a dragon here and here to funnel our dragons inside the base. We're gonna wait a few seconds here. Pretty much just waiting for our dragons to get a nice funnel. Now we're gonna place some balloons first this time to avoid the traps. Dragons, and then balloons right behind ability here and now we're just going to focus on freezing the air defense uh expos anything shooting at our dragons pretty much uh, we don't really have to use a freeze spell just uh, let's actually use it right here now the e-dragon let's see what we can put it to get some nice chain valley maybe here get some nice chain valley throughout the base here to funnel our dragons inside but as you can see guys this base even though it is a pretty decent layout mostly talent mine defenses the walls are not maxed but that doesn't even matter for a talent mine attack uh, it's on an air attack, honestly. So as you can see, pretty decent layout. Zapping out one side and then pushing the side that has the remaining air defenses. Using your free spells correctly, the queen's gonna attack a wall over here. And then you know, of course, there was if there was CC, would have froze them. Uh, you could instead of bringing a second free spell, you can bring a poison. But honestly, I just prefer bringing a uh, free spell because your dragons honestly should be able to take out whatever's inside the CC, regardless if it's like witches or dragon, electro dragon, anything. Your dragon should be able to take that out. Uh, along with your Electro Dragon as well, so... Queen's just attacking the walls again. Holy moly, man. But yeah, anyways, this is probably the most simple, most straightforward attack that you could do at Town Online. I highly recommend using this strategy. This is my go-to strategy at Town Online. I actually use this attack strategy even without the Hero Boost and the Troop Boost. As you can see, level 14, King, level 6, Queen. And I'm still getting uh, 3 stars on these bases here. So pretty much the same thing. This base has air defenses. Now it is, it is, it looks very spread out, right? But same thing, right? I actually don't have max lining spells, but it's fine, though, right? So I'm lining out one. I would lining out the second one, and then I would just push the weak side, uh, like I did in the previous attacks, take out the queen with my king and queen. Try to try to pick off some defenses here too. Once you get better at attacking, you can try doing what I'm doing here and picking off some defenses with balloons and maybe a dragon. Uh, kind of like how I do here, but yeah, I'm just pretty much trying to get my king and queen that uh, gets a valley through here. I actually used the earthquake boots in this attack, and I pushed this side over here to try and take out the remaining air defenses uh, over here. And then I actually do end up getting the triple using my free spell on the expo and air defense over here on the air defense as well. And yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Most straightforward town online attack. As you can see, I'm tripling every base. Uh, I think I've tripled yeah, every base with this strategy, except for this one. I'm not really sure what happened here. But yeah, most straightforward attack. Highly recommend using this army, especially if you're a new town online or if you're, uh, you know, even a veteran town online. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video, subscribe for more videos because I'm going to be uploading more. Check out my live streams over on Twitch. Follow me on Instagram, uh, TikTok. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. <laughs> My Twitter is up here, somewhere up here. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys use code Termy for all your purchases. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace.